Baba Bowie is not here because he went to Atlantic City to appear in a... And an incredible show. An incredibly dumb show <laughs> that Ron Delsner put together, all behind my back. Baba Booey conspired with uh, Jackie and Stuttering John, with Ron Delsner, and put together something called Friends of the Howard Stern Show, which I quickly put to a stop. And I even told Gary not to do, but he just went ahead to Atlantic City and did it anyway. Uh. And, uh, <clears throat> well, we had a book already, Bob. Well, unbook it. You think he's really sick? Oh, I think he's really sick. I think he went to uh, he he went all weekend to Atlantic City. He stayed up all night. He gambled. He had fun. He partied with uh, his buddies there. So he, he did it all. He did it all, and okay. now he's ill. So I don't have my producer here. I'm very shocked. Yeah. And he has. I see he's booked himself for two appearances in Dallas. Right. He has weekend appearances in Dallas that probably he can't miss. Yeah. So I'm sure that he'll be fine for that. Guess what? He can miss. Yeah. I've got work piling up back there that isn't being done. He that everyone tells me they're show. too busy to do. You know what, Howard? He has sick time here. Right, right. Yeah, but not in Dallas. He better not go to Dallas this weekend. <laughs> I better hear that he canceled those appearances so he can make up what he's not doing here. <laughs> you know, people think like maybe I'm a hard-on or something about this kind of stuff. And I know I'm not because I've spent my entire career. Where's Stuttering John? I want him to hear this. Come in here, uh, dummy. <laughs> I'm, and it's good for Jackie to hear, too, because... I, I don't think Jackie understands my philosophy. Hey. Come on in. I want you to understand my philosophy. No, I'm at, I, why, why did I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm queer. I'm camping. I'm here. <laughs> what? No, but I'm here. I know you're here, but I want you to understand something. Because you are someone who acts really dumb and naive around me and acts like you don't know what's going on even in your... Oh, I, I don't know. I'm making a mistake. I, 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 you know, you're the smartest one here. You're smarter than Gary and you're smarter than Jackie. You, know, you are more crafty and sneaky... Sneaky. Yeah, you are more crafty and sneaky than any one of these guys. Jackie and Gary put together on his crafty, and Jack and Gary is a sneak. Gary's a little sneak. How can I, a but he's not smart. How can I be both? Can I tell the truth? <laughs> it was Ron Delsner put this together. <laughs> oh, you couldn't tell me that before, could you? Howard, honestly, yeah, I, I make. I swear to God, this is true. I make less money doing these gigs with Gary than I do ma just to do them. That's not alone. the point. That's not the point. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell your friend Jackie something, and I'm going to tell Gary something. I love all three of you guys. You're fun guys. Jackie's very valuable to me. You're very valuable to me. Gary's very valuable to me. But am I willing to disassociate myself with the three of you? Yes, I am willing to. It would be hard. I would miss you. But I am willing to do it. It would tear you up. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something, my friends. Is everybody listening? Jackie, don't read the paper now. Jackie, no reading the paper. I want you to hear this. Yeah, I'm talking Jack to you. Jackie's, <laughs> talking to yeah, you talk. Jackie's, Jackie's talking to me. Jackie's <laughs> washed his hands of this right from the beginning. So yeah. you, I know. You know I know. You Jackie's know. innocent you know, on a lot of love. Uh, wash my hands. No. Like right from the beginning, you like plead like and you know like you're ignorant of the whole. No, he's not ignorant. I'm not I know. ignorant of anything. I oh, yeah, said right that I took one and gig and I refused to do the rest of it. I just yeah. I wanted to go to Atlantic City. I didn't want to go to do the other ones. I know, I know, but just right, right from the beginning, it seemed like it was just like you were like, "Hey, these guys are idiots," and and I'm and I'm happy. All right, L listen, what? that's something for you two to take up off the air. Would yeah, you, that's would, a lunchtime at the Friars. Yeah, you guys can talk about that later. <laughs> Let me explain my philosophy to you, and whether you believe it or not, I don't care. But I'm telling you my philosophy. I believe whatever you say. All right. <laughs> I'm what I have tried to do in my career, I don't owe you this explanation, by the way. I didn't ask for it. I, I, but I got to give it to you. He's doing you a favor. All right. Listen, shut, up, shut up and take you're it. You're going to hear philosophy now. <laughs> First of all, regarding you, Stuttering John, you are a guy who perceives himself as funny. When you go on the Ricky Lake show, when you go on the Last Call show, mm -hmm. when you do these shows, when you go on the Conan show, mm -hmm. you turn to people inevitably afterwards and go, hey, was I funny? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You are not funny. Okay. You're obnoxious. Okay. You're not funny. All right. I'll tell you what's funny about you. You stutter. Mm-hmm. When you go on TV and you try to be me, mm -hmm. it's not funny. All right. It comes off obnoxious. Okay. It's a very fine line. You are funny when you are yourself. Mm -hmm. When you start to talk about yourself, there is a certain naivete about you that is interesting, that is heartwarming, and that is funny when you start to stammer about your life. Okay. <laughs> when you go on the air and you run around like Howard and you, you look like you're doing a bad Howard impression, mm -hmm. you are not funny. Okay. So afterwards, when you come off these shows and you say to me, w w was I funny? Or you say to uh, Jackie, Jackie, was I, w w was I funny? That's funny. Because you're so insecure, you're funny.
Uh-huh. You're being you. When you go on these shows and you're me, and you're yelling at people, and you're stuttering, and you, you lose your charm. Now, here's the other thing you ought to learn about yourself. All right. You don't take criticism well. You don't listen. I'm listening. When I told you to cut Gilbert out of your video, you didn't listen. I told him that. Uh, what? Okay. All right. I, All right. Shh. Mm-hmm. Shh. Shh. The smartest performers are the ones that listen. You know who's a smart performer? Madonna. You know why? You know why she's on top? She'll go. She'll talk to garbage men. She'll actually watch what they're wearing, what they're listening to. You're not an expert. Mm-hmm. You know why I'm successful? You know why I've been on top for so long? If, if a postal worker came up to me and told me he had a good idea, I would actually listen to it. I would actually entertain it. Because I don't consider myself better than a postal worker. Mm-hmm. I consider myself garbage. That's why I'm going to go to the shrink. But that's what works for me. If I ever had a good feeling about myself, I'd feel too good for anybody. <laughs> I wouldn't succeed. I am the genius of myself. <laughs> I know myself. I know what has to be done. <laughs> All right, so what have we learned so far? Uh, and I'm going to give you overall advice about career. I'm going to give it to you, Jackie, and everyone else. Jackie's got a whole other set of problems. These are your problems today. Okay. A, you're not funny. Mm-hmm. I know you think you're funny. Do you think you're funny? Yeah, I, 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 Tell the truth. Do you think you're funny? Uh, uh, Do you think you're a funny person? Yeah. You're not. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Disagree. You're not funny. I don't. But I don't want to disagree. No, you, you can know disagree. What? It's very funny because I hear him saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. "That no, means no. he's not listening." If no, you I genuinely, if you I genuinely wanna, disagree, I, I want you. I want to know so I can help you with no, it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, taking I, valuable radio time I, I'm to help you with your career. Are you a funny guy? I'm certain. Let me ask you. Do you see yourself as funny? Do you think you're funny? But see, I'm not supposed to say no. No, you can say whatever you want. No, say what you feel. I mean, I'm trying to help you now. I thought you thought I was funny. No, no, you are funny when I tell you what to say, and you're yourself, and you're genuine, and you stammer. That's funny. So you're saying I should be more genuine? Words, you would never be a stand-up comedian. Mm-hmm. You're not funny, and when you try to be funny, you come off obnoxious. Okay. When you're yourself, if Conan O'Brien asks you a question and says, mm-hmm. "John, what's it like when you ask these people these horrible questions?" Yeah. And, if you, and many times you'll say, you know, gee, Howard puts the words in my mouth, or Jackie and Fred put the right. words in my mouth, and I, I'm embarrassed. Or whatever your genuine feeling is, and then all of a sudden you start to stutter, and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. People are laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> all right. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. It's fun to watch a guy stammer. That's what's funny. I, I got gotcha. you. When you go on and you try to be funny... Like, You're not funny. Like I tell jokes, it's not good. Right. Okay. Right. I got you. I, right. I, 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 know. And I see you on the shows. I've watched your shows. You stand up and you start yelling at people. Sometimes you do a little. No, no, shit. no, no. I tell them a question that I've asked on the show. Right, right. I see you with the girl on the show, and you st- and you stand up. And you well, go, hey, come on, girl. baby, come on. Don't you want to go out with me? Don't you want? Well, that Howard. isn't you. That's well, not your style. Yeah. Hey, excuse yeah, me. I mean, uh, yeah, and it I mean, comes I mean, off obnoxious. She's a gorgeous girl. It's hard to watch. She's a gorgeous girl, but I see what you're doing. You're trying. You're forcing it. Okay. Your well, that show, I, uh, think uh, I, was, I agree. Uh, I, I don't think it was a per- it was good. All right, but whatever. No, no. <laughs> I'm talking about your performance on okay, that show. all right. On Ricky Lake, I don't know what you were doing on there. Well, I was just being a judge. I, was... I don't know what that was. You've got to start thinking about what you do. Now, let me, now, let me, give, you, let me give you a hint. Mm-hmm. And this is for you and for that Baba Booey and for Jokey Martling. Jokey Martling. Here, here it is. I have turned down a lot of money in my career for T-shirts, bumper stickers, I've had offers to do all kinds. If I showed you the pile of offers that I've had in my career that I've turned down, you you would get dizzy because it's a staggering amount of money. All right, let me ask you one question. Hold on. But, okay. Okay, go ahead and ask. If you choose, if you think your question is more important than what I'm going to no, impart see, this to you is now. I, now I'm in a catch go 22. Go ahead. Go ahead. Catch 22. Is that because, but is it because, is, is it because you can afford to turn down these things? No. Let me tell you something. And Robin knows this to be the God's honest truth. I didn't have a pot to piss in. When I worked at NBC, and I had cockamamie scam offered to me one after another. I couldn't afford to buy a house. Do you understand? Yes. You have more money than me than when I was at NBC. You have more money now than what I had at NBC. I didn't have the money to buy a car. Mm-hmm. You understand? I went to my father. He got me a 70, 1970 Valiant, that bastard. <laughs> couldn't get me a nice car. You're driving a better car. You drive a better car, and you, have a, and you have the money for a house. <laughs> you have more money than I did, and I got offered all kinds of things to market my name. And you know what I said? You're gonna, this is going to blow your mind. I said, no. Mm-hmm. Now, listen to me. 
The reason I said no is I said I this was my philosophy about this show. I believed in this show so much that I said the rewards will come a little bit slower. If you cash in quickly, you become like every other radio personality. You become just another dog with a bumper sticker and the Mark and Brian sponge and the this and the that. You don't understand? You become another one of the jerks that are just ripping off the audience. You become another guy. Hey, here's my Howard Stern t-shirt. Whatever outside project I did to try to make a little extra money, I tried to at least put some care into it. Integrity. Integrity behind it. And also try to make it show business related or videotape or a book or something like this. Not some goddamn keychain. You understand? Yeah. Okay. And I turned down keychain scam after keychain scam. I must, have, I must have 500 letters on my desk. People want me to do a CD-ROM. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just take it and put out something real quick? Why, why would you guess I don't? Because you want whatever you put out to if be... I, that. You know, to have if I put out a CD-ROM, I'm going to change the computer industry. That's why. I'm, you know, right now, they, don't, they, got, they got all this technology, but nobody's buying CD-ROM. You know why? Because it's boring. Nobody's done it right. They don't know what to do. They got all the hardware, no software. Now, most guys will jump... Yeah, I got a CD-ROM! You understand? I have purposely backed off. I got you. Now I've got a problem. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of guys who work for me who I want to be nice to. I want to be fair to. I want you guys to make money. But now the sharks out there who are frustrated that I won't do certain things get a hold of my guys. And my guys are going to now, they're going to buckle. They see the money coming in. Well, we can't get Howard to do it, so maybe we'll get... Stuttering John to do it. We'll go roundabout. We'll put together our Friends of the Howard Stern show. It'll be a horrible show, but we'll do it through the back door. We'll get twenty-eight fifty a seat because people think they're going to see all the crew from the Howard Stern show. It'll be poorly produced, badly put together. Sound check will be all wrong, and all disaster strikes. You know, I even found out that there was supposed to be a bikini contest. Oh but yeah. But nobody figured out how to get the girls there, so the, only one girl showed up. They did a bikini contest with one girl. Yeah. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, this is what people saw when they went to Atlantic City. Now listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not listen to me. I'm listening. I mean, I, I could say that something there, but I won't. oh, don't say anything. Okay. <laughs> That's why I've never said, "Hey, let's go do Stuttering John books, Stuttering John T-shirt, Gary Baba Bowie shirt." Gary Baba Bowie came to me. He got to have a T-shirt. He wants to make a T-shirt. Do I want my, uh, the Gary Baba Bowie T-shirt out there? No. Who made Gary Baba Bowie famous? Why is Gary yeah. Baba Bowie famous? Because you made it f right. Uh, fun. You think Gary Baba Bowie has a talent? You think that he is a, a people? Someone people want to really wear his T-shirt. They want to wear it because I'm into it. I could have put out a Gary Baba Bowie shirt, but why didn't I do it? Because that would have um, not only saturated the market, it would, it would have just been stupid. Another stupid radio guy was selling stupid radio stuff. And you know what happens to the audience? They buy it because they trust you. And then when they get home, they look at it, they go, what, what the this? hell did Howard do to me? He conned me. I got a Gary Baba Bowie shirt. What am I going to do with it? Holy I'm not going to wear this. <laughs> and I just spent 12 bucks for this. Oh, I don't like it. Gary has no talent. So when I say to Gary repeatedly, I don't want you to do a shirt. I don't want you to do Friends of the Howard Stern tour. Hell, yeah, it's a bad guy. You don't want us to make money. Gary's talent is smiling and showing those disgraceful caps. <laughs> That's his talent. If I didn't bring Gary in on here, no one would hire him for an appearance. So I've said to Gary, I try to be gracious. I said, Gary, if someone calls on you to get an appearance going, go do it. Fine. You want to show up at a supermarket? You want to say hello to the crowd, sign a few autographs? That's fine. But what does he do? He turns his back on me. Behind my back, he's plotting against me with Ron Delsner, putting together the Friends of the Baba Bowie, Friends of the Howard Stern T-shirt, Friends of the... Why does he put out a Baba Bowie keychain? and put out, Why do we make a Baba Bowie store? Baba why do Bowie. I not say to Baba Bowie, go make a Baba Bowie store? Answer my question. Because you don't want it. You think it's, 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 what? It, it isn't a good product, and you don't want to be uh, right. associated with it. I don't want it. I don't want... I've turned down money for the Baba Bowie keychain. But you're not asking the right question. Now, no. Does he have the ability to discriminate? No. No. no, this no. is this is where I I I, I, what? I, I, I this is where I had to disagree because what? on everything I let every, me ask you something. Why do you think you're every, popular? Why do you think people because like you? Because you made you? me popular. Oh. But how, I always come to you and ask you every what? single time about these things. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Did you I, ask me about Friends of the Baba Booey tour or Friends of the Howard Stern tour? How, I gotta, Did you ask me about it? Can I just be honest no. with you? No, no one told me about it. How, Gary didn't tell me about it. You how, didn't tell I me about really, it. I really, to tell you the God's honest truth, yeah. have so little to do with the whole thing. I, I, it was like, just say, hey, John, you want to do appearance together? Yeah, okay. The Stuttering John book proposal, did you come and tell me about that? Yes. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Oh, you came and told me about it? Yes, I did. You want to know why you did? I knew about it two weeks early. I'd already killed it.
How are, Don't even talk to me about Howard, it. I, can't I find out I about it. That. You I, came to me too late. Howard, I never brought it up to you. Howard, y y Behave yourself, I, John. Howard, Behave yourself. Wait a second. I, I don't want Howard, to know about these things secondhand and through, through people that I don't Howard, know about. I came up to you. I knew about it two weeks before you came up to me. How could that Two possibly weeks. be? I trust me, I trust well, me, then, I knew about uh, it. Yeah, but but I still came. I didn't know you knew I about knew it. I knew about it. The I, proposal I, was around. I still came the up. The stuttering to you. John Buck proposal All with right. all the questions from this show. No, I still came up. Why to don't you. you rate me? Do me a favor. I'm going to pull my pants down here. Mm. Put it. Put Get it, it in. over. Go ahead. Come on, rate me now. <laughs> Come, Come on, on do it to me now. Ahead. Don't do it Go to me. Ahead. Don't give me slow rate. Do it to me now. Just give it to me. I've been bad to you, right? Come on, Howard. Come on, Howard. Here it is. Howard. Here it is. Take it now. Rate me now. Are you kidding me? Come on. Put the probe in. Howard, you Go know. Go ahead. Take my temperature. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. 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 No, seriously, you know. I, mean, what? No, I, I can't explain Howard. myself anymore. I've bit. always come up to you and ask you things, and I, I and I, I and, I, and I, the last I, thing I, I want to do is piss you off. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do what Jackie does. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on. I'm going to book myself in a club. I'm going to make a T-shirt. Use your finger uh, cots. Use whatever. Oh, he'll cards. take his own ah. cassettes and I'm gonna put them out on I'm going to get Joe cards. I'm going to get everything I can get. I'm going to cash in. Howard. I'm going to go and sell everything I can possibly think up. Howard, can I ask you a question? I... These people must get home from Jackie's Prince and go, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> I got cards, I got t-shirts, I got mugs. What am I going to do with this? I got a what? Not only that, he sells it on the stage. Free enterprise. <laughs> What's that mean? Free enterprise is great. Look it up. All right, good. No, but Howard... Howard, seriously, I always try and come up to you and tell you this. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what. Okay, yeah. thank you. No, no, wait a minute, no, no. wait a minute. No, John, John, uh, I asked the question, yeah. do you... Free you enterprise. Know, who wants to hear you come up with 10 billion bad ideas and ask them if it's okay to do it? None it of them are good. It makes people scared of it you. Hasn't been t it hasn't been three ideas. It hasn't been that many, and uh, I always good. wanted to... I, all right, very all right, good. Right. Can we just say one honest thing? And let me tell you something. How, how, you are... You, I know you. I know you like a like a. I'm a. I'm as smart you as they come. You don't know Trust me. I'm as smart as they come. Mm -hmm. You obviously don't know. Me. I'm as smart you as they come. You see how he's not listening? You want to know why I don't have any friends? I see through everybody. Mm -hmm. People are inherently evil. <laughs> I know this. I know it. I know the score. Right. If they can screw you, they can screw you. So what I do is sometimes I embrace my enemy. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. Better to have your enemy on your side. Is ah, that right, Confucius? <laughs> thank you, Robin. Hey, Robin knows. She knows. <laughs> it's a good lesson in life. So, could I'm not trying to keep you down. I know that sometimes our 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 view of the world conflicts. No, it isn't that. I, There's I just... a way to cash in on my name, and the way isn't. There's a way to to sort of back off. But you don't want me to ask you? When, you, when, you, there's no reason to ask. You should know. At this point, you should know. You've been around me long enough. I don't want to have these discussions every two weeks about what you can and can't do. Figure it out. There's a way to cash in on my name, and there's a way not to cash in on my name. Can I say something here? But can I, I have tried to tell him 50 times uh, about things just not to even approach but you with. Can I ask you something? But he does it Why anyway. is it okay for Rob? She does CNBC. She's done... Don't even bring up Robin in the same breath no, as you. No, but I'm saying why then? Don't even suggest it to me. But then, why uh, we're, I, all I'm saying is that... You Robin know, and I have worked out our way of dealing with one another to the point that we know exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. I don't think we take advantage of one another. No, and I don't want to... Now, let me tell you about you. All right. You're a sneak. I'm a sneak. <laughs> I don't see the Robin Quivers keychain. I don't I see the Rob the Friends of the Robin Quivers tour. <laughs> don't disgrace me. I'm not disgracing you. I'm just, I'm just, don't compare yourself to Robin. No, but I'm just saying... You do not hold the same weight that Robin does. I know that, but I'm saying, I'm just saying, you know, what, I mean, you know, you know, if, if the examples that are given, I mean, I, I, no, here's the example. Plus, I mean, I wanted you, to try, uh, you, you, know, you know, being on my own in television, so, right. so I asked you. You tried, you did it, God bless you. I know, but I didn't want to, like, do anything bad to you. I didn't want to, you know, you know, take anything. I didn't. I it. don't <laughs> care. I, did I ever once say to you that it wasn't a good idea? No. Did I ever once say to no, you it wasn't and, a good idea? And I did ask you. I said it's fine. You can go do whatever you want. But I did ask but you. But you understand something. The way they used you on that show. It wasn't good. Not only did it make you unfunny, I didn't want you on my show. It wasn't a good idea. It I, made I, you unfunny. It's like I'm sure Letterman feels that way about Larry Bud Melman yeah, at this I don't point. think it was a good, a good show. It either. wasn't a good show. All right. So it wasn't. It was so an I awful made my show. Thing. I went out I'm, and, I, and, I, and, and I. And I'm not and saying I'm, you shouldn't go out. But do me a favor. Next time you go out, warn me how they're going to use you so I can get you off my show first. Whatever. I didn't know. I'll I was, let you take a sabbatical from my show. I didn't know I was getting angry, and, if I and I'll make Gorillo famous. And I, I didn't know if I was. What? I didn't know I was getting angry. That's all. John, you had to know. I told you that. 
Robin, I no, no. You, this is the, when I start getting book Robin, proposals with my material being no, circulated around. I don't want to hear it, that, uh, John. I caught you. Know, you. Caught no, you. No, you didn't. I, okay. No, you didn't. All right. Oh my God. Well, I must is, be hallucinating. This is, this is, I, you I, know the truth. Now about listen to this. me. I hope you learned <laughs> what I'm trying to say. The most important thing you got to learn about me. I've turned down a fool's ransom, a fortune. What's a fool's ransom? Uh, same deal. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I've turned down a fortune in these cockamamie merchandising scams. Yeah. Believe it or not, I actually do not want to steal from my audience. I got you. I, 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 th I think you're right. I appreciate the fact that I <laughs> You shouldn't have steal an audience. from your audience, John. Will. Right. No, I, John will do it for me. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything bad, Howard. I really am not. I don't, I don't have any intentions. I don't have, you know, I'm not trying to do anything, you know. I will never. Have you seen a t-shirt with my name on it? Do no, you see that? Do you no. see me selling that? In fact, these, these, these radio stations I work for, they have pressured me. They have threatened to fire me. You know, when I came to this station, there was uh, several sponsors who didn't want to come on the air unless they could have Howard Stern mugs. This was a whole big oh, thing. Oh, I remember Remember that. this? Yeah. They almost fired me here over it. I said, guys, I'm not doing it to hurt your sponsors, but unless I put my foot down, I'm going to open up the floodgates with these little dopey Howard Stern plastic cups, Howard Stern this and that. So as a compromise, so they have a, a Howard Stern all morning t-shirt, a uh, rock and roll all day. I don't want a Howard Stern t-shirt. They want to make Howard Stern t-shirt. I said no. And I had companies come to me. They want to pay me all kind of money, Howard Stern t-shirt. I said no. I did it because I believe that this show is more than just another dopey radio show. Maybe I'm delusional, but that's how I feel about it. I feel that if we go that route, we look like jerks. You know, like Morton Downey. The guy had five minutes of fame. This guy was into more products. He looked like a jerk. Rush Limbaugh's got a store. He's selling Rush Limbaugh. This is a guy who's panicked. He knows it's going to end some... At some point, someone's going to go on against him, give him some competition, and blow him off the dial. Anybody with with any kind of reasonable talent will blush will blow Rush Limbaugh off. Mark and Brian in California are two imbeciles who had no career, had no personality of their own, adopted my personality. They go out to California, they get hot because I'm not there. And what do they do? There's nine billion Mark and Brian products. And I don't blame them. Because they knew when I came to town it was over. The party ends. I see those little creeps. They're now going into San Francisco or something. They're one of our markets. With syndication. You think they thought up syndication? They didn't think up syndication. They don't have an original thought in their head. No one in this industry has an original thought in their head. So I'm very protective of my name and how it's handled and what happens with it. And tell your friend Baba Bowie the same thing who was out sick because he's got too many personal appearances. Can't handle his life. Bowie. Boop, boop. You know, every year yeah. there comes a time in the year where you have to slow Baba Booey down. Yeah, all so boy. Because he gets sick and he misses his time here. Baba Booey had we uh, wheeled and dealed himself <laughs> into a six-city tour with the friends of the Howard Stern. Him and Ron Delsner had cooked up with Gary's manager. Ron was in on the whole deal. Oh, huh? yeah. Oh, evidently. This, I mean, I'm not even sure. I'm getting See, bits and know. pieces. No I one has no come idea. clean that yet. That was the first time I'd ever heard that. No thing. one will tell me what happened in this whole how thing. How it happened, how it oh, got yeah. cooked up. I, I was nowhere in my life. You understand? I thought of me. I thought this up. Since I'm five years old, I waited to do this. I'm not going to let anybody ruin it. I did it. I did it. Rape me. Rape me now, John. Put it <laughs> here. My pants are down. Take it from me. Take it off from me now. <laughs> pull, it's your there. pull your underwear come down. On, come on. You, come, get behind me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Come on, go for it. I'd, I'd like to pull my underwear down once you're behind me and ready to mount me. <laughs> Rape me. And let me tell you something. You're no dumber than, like, Tom Chiasano. When I first got to this station, the general manager, Howard, we need, we can't sell the show. We need cups. We need mugs. We need saucers. We need your name. I said, Tom, better you don't sell them. Better I leave than I get embarrassed with, with Howard Stern sponges. <laughs> Well, Mark and Brian sponge. Well, how ah, Schivos are Mark and Brian. Death to Mark and Brian. <laughs> Radio death.
Well, Howard, <laughs> you realize that, like, you know... Oh, he realizes. What is he... What don't I realize? Have I made myself clear? You mean I still haven't made myself clear? What should he realize? You made yourself clear, but I'm just trying to just, you know, defend the past things. Just saying, you know, that are people going to, you know, offer all of us stuff because of how famous that you made yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, And you're saying you're too weak to resist? No, I know. I try and go through you, and I talk to Gary, talk to you. So this is what I said. You have no way to discriminate. Most... I... God, you don't know how many. That's okay. I as done. long as you have no way to. No, let do. me know about it. Don't let me hear about it from other publishers. That no, uh, there's a proposal I, around. I sat you down. And no, you sat that me happened. down two weeks after I found out about it. Well, somebody that's spilled not the even beans that I know. About sitting down. Well, you didn't seem to know anything about it. Oh, I, I, I hit it pretty good. Ask Gary if I didn't know about it. All right. Well, then I, I, I didn't know, but I came up to you and asked you. You know what? Because I don't want to be a bad guy. You, you see, I, there's one thing you don't know about me. How, when I'm you a said, sap for a guy oh, down on his luck. I, I'm too nice a guy. Robin will tell you about this no, off the no. air. No, no. In fact, uh, when you talk about how sneaky he is, yeah. how he presented it to you was the most oh, ridiculous thing I've ever he seen. He didn't know about the proposal. It was out there. Someone no, no, wrote no, no, it. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. No, no, no. He's no. standing in a room with me, you, and Gary. Yeah. And he goes, I just need to ask you something real quick. Yeah, real quick. Can I do a book deal? Can I do a book? Uh, somebody, somebody wrote up a proposal. I don't know about it. And, and he ran out of the room. Howard, I... Asked you Listen like to me. I was supposed Listen to, and to me. you said no, no, I didn't do it. I found I out about it too. It was already on the publisher's desk. No, no, it wasn't. That was it wasn't? weeks after. How come Judith had it? Because I'll tell Two you Two weeks before you came no, to me. No, that's BS. It's not BS. How, I came to you a month before she, that she happened. She told me about it. Robin, that's what I called you over the weekend. That was a month before I came inside with John, you. John, John, you sound like OJ. No. Howard, I, 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 it was a drug deal. <laughs> no, but how? Someone else did it. Howard, I swear to God. John, you, I knew about no, it. How can you tell me I did because it? Because timing right now, you're being. Uh, a, oh, no, hold on, hold on. John, me, I knew about it. Howard, let me just say one thing. No, I know you I knew about it. I could bring in 17 witnesses. But you didn't know. First, I came up to you and told you about it. Yeah. Then I said no. Okay. Then that. No. The, John, the, the, John, the, the, John. Then the proposal came John, about, and then I called you. Remember, listen to me. A month after. Accept your punishment. Listen right, to me. I'm just being. I'm just trying you to. You like, know what, John? The bottom line here is you make big mistakes. Don't make That's it. the bottom line. Making friends with Robin. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, Jackie. The, you're, you're absolutely nah, right. I'm just Talking and let me to tell you, you has never been a mistake for You're John. not the only one. There's a lot of people who get around me. You're not the only no, You're I'm not trying. even the worst offender yeah, of this. Listen to, me, to listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. That things get out of hand. You're t- believe me. You're not the worst offender of this. <laughs> Our own general manager doesn't get this. Right. It took him five years to understand what I'm telling you. You're a lot quicker learner than he is. Hmm. He is stupider than you. (laughs) Our own general manager is stupider than you. I guarantee you, you could run this station better than he could. Because you understand it better than he... You know how long it's taken me to educate this man? (laughs) Hi, Tom. Tom, I I don't mean it as an insult. (laughs) John has a superior IQ, as a matter of fact. Tom, remember how long it took you to understand... And I don't take it as an insult. (laughs) And I don't mean it as an insult. Remember how long it took you to understand why I don't do these things? I I remember it being a very quick study, in fact. I see. All right. Well, for you, it was quick. Five years is quick for Tom. No, Tom is thicker than the Great Wall of China. And he knows it, and God bless him. And I accept it already at this point. But I had a lot of problems with the company when I first got we here. We had one, we had one no, thing. It was a general philosophy. Do you know there were discussions, you don't even know about this, there were discussions of a Howard Stern store when I first came here. I said, I'm putting a stop to this. They said, well, don't you want to make money? I said, I want to make money in my lifetime, but I don't want to, I, you know what, I don't need to do that. There are ways to make money. I said, what am I, Mark and Brian? What am I, Rick D's? Am I better than them? (laughs) Absolutely. Do I believe that my career will be longer than those guys? Yes, I do. I believe it. (laughs) I believe this. Listen, Tom panicked. He's a general manager. He said, what if he doesn't make it? We better cash in somehow. If we can't sell the advertising, we'll we'll set up a store and we'll sell Howard Stern pants. (laughs) You know, so there you go. I, I am different. I march to my own drummer. I'm telling you. Do you help the grease man? <laughs> what is he selling? Waddle Daddle. Waddle Daddle shirts? Waddle Daddle. Get rid of him already. Would you fire him and wise up? Don't you know when, when you cut your losses? Fire the grease man, will you? You still won't even learn about that. Yes, sir. Killing the station. <laughs> Click my heels. <laughs> Why can't you fire him? Do what do you have? You under a long term. Did you sign about, another stupid long term contract? I, 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 I thought we were talking about. Where you give away the store. store. You know, here you learned to negotiate at the management meeting, and the grease man walked off with the store. John is funnier my and more talented. And I already finished telling him he's not funny. We all know that famous quote. Does Howard Stern tell Gimbals? Huh? What? Oh, boy. I am funnier than him. You are. Right. And I just proved it. <laughs> I don't know what Does he's Macy's talking about. Macy's tell Gimbals? Right. No. 
don't compare me as Macy's and Grease Man as Gimbals. I'm Let me not, tell you something, that, my that, friend. That, that, I am. I am. That wasn't the comparison at all. I am steak, and he is a plastic cup. <laughs> that's the difference. I, he talks he, into a microphone. That's the only comparison you can make he, between me and the Grease Man. Conversation. I have to point out every problem <laughs> and how smart I am and how stupid everyone else is. My father pointed out to me my whole life. Now I'm pointing out to you guys. There you go. Now you know the basis for it and everything. I'm real up front. <laughs> I like that you're not laughing, by the way. I see you taking me seriously. John. Oh, Stuttering John. I, mean. I, know, John I think has, that you have gotten through his I know, wall. Yeah. Right, John has been taking you very seriously he the should. last week or so. And, I, and let me tell you something. I like this kid. Oh, Imagine I like if I didn't like him. John's great. Not today he isn't. Tomorrow he's going to be better. I hope Gary comes in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're funny. Because that yourself. was honest. That was real. You're funny on this show. You're not busy trying to be me. You're being yourself. Why now can't funny. we call Baba Booey? I want to know how sick he is. I don't want to know how sick no. he is. I'm going to tell you something, Tom. I want to know how sick he is. <laughs> Baba I want to know if he's working this weekend. Oh, Baba Booey better not work this weekend. He better be canceling Dallas because he wants to be in tip-top shape for next week's programming. Oh, I better not hear he's in Dallas. <laughs> oh, boy. You want to call him and ask him? We don't call Ron Delzer. I think that's his manager. <laughs> uh, somehow I don't think Ron had anything to do with that. Imagine I develop this Bob Bob Bowie. I give him a job. I develop him. I even give him a persona on the radio. Let him talk. And, everything. and Ron Delzer's cashing in on this. Well, that's Ron. That's Ron, boy. <laughs> God bless him. He's smart. Oh, Ron's a very I'll smart I'll never guy. call him stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he bamboos. He must hypnotize my guys. Maybe that's what he does. Papa <laughs> Bohai. <laughs> It's going to ruin my life. And I know deep in everyone's mind here, everyone thinks that I'm saying this because, oh, Howard wants the money for himself. He don't want us no. to make a living. How much That's money are we getting? It. You got to understand something. I wouldn't think that at John, all. John, I purposely turned down. I want to, I, you know what? I almost want to show you my personal papers. How, I know. Money turned down merchandising. Believe me, I know. You know how many calls I get People, in the back? You want to know something? I've killed movie deals over merchandising. You, you want to know what busted up me in New Line? New Line, I know you said had that. Had nothing to do with scripts. Had nothing to do with anything. They wanted my merchandising. And they wanted to sell Fartman dolls, mm. Howard Stern, this. I said, guys, I got to walk. I want to make a movie real bad. They were ready to finance it. They were ready to open a bank. The Bob Shea Bank at New Line. They were going to open up to me, John. No, I know. Do you understand that? Yeah, I know that. They were going to open it up to me. With the big bucks we pay John, he doesn't need the extra money. Right. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> now, aren't you clearing like 17 grand? <laughs> exactly. That's not even that. No. I want you to make extra money. Please don't misunderstand me. When you signed the record deal, who was your biggest supporter? You were. All right. Did I lie and say the music was great? Yes. Oh, okay. come on, Howard. You know the music. I loved it. Did I call you and tell you the music was great? Yes. It was okay. one of the, right. probably our right. best conversations. You're damn right. <laughs> Did I call you personally to tell you how good I thought it was? And that yes. I was, And that I... Listen, Tom knows this. I want to get on the air and say, oh, go buy John's album. I thought it was a good album. I was more than happy to say that for you. I didn't have to say that for you. Tom told me not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ab absolutely. Right. No, I know. I, but there know. are certain things I don't want to do. I understand. And Tom knows I've turned down money to Absol do these T-shirts and that mugs and everything else. True. Absolutely. 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 Why? Because I think that this show is better than that. I, swear I think to God that we that's are more. True. I know it's true. I turn down things every day. I've turned down commercial endorsements. Speaking of commercials, how far... You know I was offered a fortune... <laughs> Forget them, Tom, Tom, please. You, you're bumming me out. you got to leave now. It's enough. I've seen you enough. Please. Thank you. Take off the headphones and go back there. Thank you very go much. Go back to your chilly nice little room. To nice sweater. <laughs> go to Hawaii. Learn something. All right. Very good. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you know I was if offered... If I'm being bumped for Ralph, then I might be upset. Let me just say something. I want to say something. After Tom, Ralph is welcome. <laughs> i got to tell you something. I turned down money to do a cigarette commercial in Japan. Mm -hmm. Now, why the hell they wanted me? <laughs> in fact, I wanted to do that one. And nobody sure. would have known here in the state. No, my agent said don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That was a mistake. <laughs> I would have liked to cash in on that. <laughs> you Who done. cares if a bunch of Japanese smoke? They're all nervous <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to kill them. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I don't think that I don't think John's doing any of this out of malice or or. You, you think know. he's stupid? I, no, I don't think no, he's stupid. No, he's I think not. He, he's I very think, crafty. I, I, he's no. not a dumb kid. He's, no, he I don't, knows. You don't know he's John. No, I you don't know John. John is one. He's called passive aggressive. He does it in strange ways. Same with Baba Booey. You're no different than him. Baba Booey is genuinely a dick. 
<laughs> when he said, oh, both. Well, I, I, before, so I'm no different. Thanks. Both, I'll never, I'll never do well, anything like that again. <laughs> Shit, I plead And let me tell you something. And Jackie blows rings around both of you. <laughs> All right? Well, so don't, yeah, don't. Jackie's the king. Right. I plead ignorance. Look, Jackie ignorance. came to me and said, I'll tell you the difference between you and Jackie, just so you're clear. Jackie came to me a long time ago. He says, listen, something that's very important to me, I would like to get plugs on the show. Mm-hmm. All right? So he has his products and stuff. Would I prefer Jackie didn't sell mugs on the air and T-shirts and stuff? I would, I, I'll be honest and say yes, I prefer he didn't. But that's Jackie's career, and that's Jackie's got to manage his career the way he's... Listen, his and, wife manages his career. And I was doing it before I met you. Exactly. Well, dude, I was in freaking college Ex making... Except before you met him, nobody Jackie, was buying Jackie, that him. has nothing... Yeah, exactly. Be honest, Jackie. That was not a, a lucrative business. It, it still isn't. Right. That's got, no, that's got nothing to do with right. the argument. I thought so, you said it was free enterprise. My point of view was hey, that Jackie... Good, it was hard good, to get good, Jackie... Jump, it was hard to get Jackie paid around here. Much like Nobody myself. sees his value. And it was a way to get something going. All right? Yeah. So it's Jackie's products, and we make it very clear it's Jackie ripping people off, not me. <laughs> All right? <laughs> well, Howard, you know, it's no secret that I don't make any money around here. John, John, let me tell you something. But you can't abuse me. No, I don't want to. That's why. I know, I know. No, otherwise, i got to pull my pants down. No, no, no. Why don't no, no. you make a Howard Stern mask and sell it? No, no, come on. Let me pull my pants down. Stop it, please. All right, let me pull my pants down. You want to make money, shave your head. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is this. You, you know what I, was I want to finish? What, what I think John wants to be a star. I don't think that's a bad thing, but I just don't think he... Like, you know how to do it. You know how to go about it and, and, and do the right things, and John will just go at anything. Right. He, he, and he, and along, he desperately gets on okay, there. I'll try that, I'll try that, I'll try that, but he doesn't focus himself. There's no thought put into it. Yeah. Well, there's thought, but I, no, I obviously... it's obviously not a good thought. All right. <laughs> You're right, Ralph. Good, Ralph. No, he's right. But listen, you got to make sure you don't bite the hand that feeds no, you. No, I know. If, if, I know. Even if it barely feeds you. I understand that. I don't right. want to piss you off. Do you think I want to no, sit no. through this? I don't know what you want. But see, I would think like all these guys would look at you and see how you do it and learn from you and say, okay... You know, maybe I no, won't well, they're desperate. put out they're desperate. They're desperate. It's a sign of desperation. Do you understand desperation? Yes. The almighty dollar talking. All right. Very good. All right, I'm done with the discussion now. You can have a serious conversation with John. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it he does? No, I'm worn out face. from this. I'm worn out from it. He squinches his eyes. Then <laughs> he has a twitch. <laughs> he gets very nervous. See, that's funny. <laughs> That's why people are always laughing at you. He thinks he's because he's funny. <laughs> is that thinking? What is that? That's Shut a up. twitch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Now you're being real. Look, I'm not saying that you're any different than Gary, Jackie, Tom, any of these people. Jackie came to me and had a specific desire to sell this stuff as a way of payment. And that's, he is my writer. So that is what I have worked out with him. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, I can't tell, I, I can't, I, all I can tell you is that you can't abuse my name. Listen, Jackie first got here, he even tried to abuse my name. He was in the paper every minute. John thinks he's a writer, too. Yeah. Well, we got him straightened out, now we're straightening you out. <laughs> you just gotta remember, you know, when I... And you know what, I'm a nice guy. Most guys would have just blown you out of here. Said, I know, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're not a yeah. nice guy. All right. I'm too nice a guy. That's why I didn't even want to break up the Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour. Believe me, it was not easy for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I just laugh. I guess. Yeah. You know, you do everything to try it. Even the for name that was lame. not to happen. Yeah, I know. I and mean, then, I could just see the ads. It, like Howard Stern. Is oh, in you big don't know. And everybody you don't know. Else is yeah. From oh, the, there was. It was Howard Stern. Letter. There were ads <laughs> taken out in the newspaper. <laughs> It was yeah, Why don't you add more fuel to the fire? I mean, we're about done with this. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not for you to decide if fine. Ralph should. Ralph's doing fine. All right. Hey, um, okay. <laughs> Big ads in the paper. Friends of the Howard Stern. It's even a lame name. I, did the guy have anything to do with, with, with... You have nothing to do with anything, John. You're, you're a saint. No, I'm not saying that. You're always perfect. You're I've been doing gigs for how many freaking years? What is well, it, Gorilla? I, well, Ronnie called up and he wants to know if him and Neil could open up the uh, yeah. Howard Stern Car Wash. Tomorrow. Yeah, why don't they just do that? Why don't they just put Howard Stern Car Wash? Why don't you, you and the guys open up a club called Howard Stern's? Why, don't you, why are you not allowed to do that? 
Howard. But why are you allowed to do the Howard Stern tour? Howard, I've been playing for how many years now? I mean, yeah. I, 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 just because Gary was going to oh. up here with me, I mean... It, it, no, it, no, no. It wasn't Gary just up there with you. You don't know what I busted up. Oh, you do know what I busted up. No, 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 no. I know, I know what you busted up with... Yeah. with, with, was with the with Howard Elephant Stern Boy. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah No, exactly. I know that, but I mean, Fred... It I, was a regular circus. So Elephant Boy is in Atlantic City with these guys. Gary calls him up on stage and goes, Hey, Elephant Boy, say something. Mm. And Elephant Boy was like, I don't want to say anything. And no one was laughing. It was really sad. So, so there's Gary just turning off more of my audience to some of my, you know, using up Elephant Boy. If Gary's decided that Elephant Boy and him should be doing shtick. Yeah. Say under the, something. Yeah. Say something funny. That shows a lot of planning. What kind of planning is that in my name? My audience should not be ripped off. If someone's going to rip off my audience, let it be me. Thank you. Ron Delsner found the weak link in the chain. Oh, yeah. He sure found them. He hooked in beautifully. All right, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm exhausted. You can see I'm exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted from all of this nonsense. Mo Listen, I'm a lot nicer guy than most. Most guys just would have gotten rid of you, and they wouldn't have had a day of mental exhaustion. I must be a glutton for punishment. All right, thank you. Thank you. You can leave now. I can leave. You can go. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Good luck with everything. See if you can get some t-shirts made with my name on it. You know why I like Billy West and Fred? Robin. <laughs> <laughs> and Ralph. Yeah, Ralph doesn't do anything. People say, why do you like Ralph? He's a homo, he's stupid, he's this, he's that. <laughs> hey, I don't have these discussions with him. <laughs> All right, Ralph, you can leave as well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and you know what? If it was if it was two days ago, I'd be a lot more upset. Yeah. Wow. Why two days ago? Well, it's like when you bang someone up the ass. First time it might hurt a little bit more than the second or third. He's a homo. So it's not so bad today. It's bad, but I just I'm just getting used to it. Like a like you know, whatever. I, I know what he's saying. You think you learned your lesson? Yeah, I always try and, you know, check with him, but this whole Howard Stern fucking crew thing. Okay. It's just... I gotta take a break. I know, I, I, you, know, I, you know, I knew and, uh, when they told me that it was, Gary was going to be there and Jackie was going to be there and Fred Yellow Boy. I said, oh, fun, you know, I'll have a good time. I didn't think of it like, you know, you know, abusing his name. You know what I mean? But um, I really didn't think... It, I wasn't being malicious. In fact, I've, I've been trying to get out of it from day one because I make less money. I, I, I make more money just me playing the band that you know that I do being with Gary. Well, anyway, because you know, I, I, you know, I make about a thousand dollars less. It wasn't making any sense to me anyway because you got to pay Todd. That's a guy from Delson, and then you got to pay my manager, then you got to pay my fucking you know booking agent. I was get, it was it was just fucking stupid to do. So how do you think you're gonna get out of that um, situation where everything you do is sort of how it feels? You're ripping them off. How do you think you, you can get out of that? Well, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. You know, but you know, as as far as it goes, you, you know, I mean, I understand what he's saying about um, you know, the, you know, about being on too many shows. Well, you know, I, I understand everything he's saying, and and I know what pretty much know what he's what he wants out of us. You know. Are you upset by this? I mean, well, you know what it was? See, see, Jackie brings up the the excuse. Oh well, I've been doing comedy before I was here. Well, that's what that, you know. That's why I brought up you know doing, doing the comedy films. I was making comedy films too before I was here. You know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs>